billion, trillion, million, billion, trillions of orbiting snowballs, orbiting snowballs, orbiting. A flat fact. A flat fact. The realm. Do you know what the realm is? A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Rockets. 16th century rockets. These are rockets in the 1500s. Manned, multi-staged, and nozzled rockets. So we have this man who, in the 1800s, patented over 214 inventions. Including a multi-stage rocket in 1914 and a liquid-fueled rocket also in 1914. And I claim that this man plagiarised his discoveries from the work included in an encyclopedia type book from the 1500s. Perhaps it was passed down to him, or perhaps he thought there were no other copies and no one would ever know. By the 1800s, these documents would have been a free-for-all and would be what we consider nowadays in the public domain. But I think even if the information is in the public domain from hundreds of years ago, you cannot claim you invented something that someone else did. The Goddard Space Flight Center was named after this man and was established on May the 1st, 1959 as NASA's first space flight center. The Goddard Space Flight Center is one of the 10 major NASA field centers and is named in recognition of American rocket propulsion pioneer Dr. Robert H. Goddard. Robert Hutchings Goddard, who was born October the 5th, 1882 and died on August the 10th, 1945. Our encyclopedic books of authority tell us that Goddard has been called the man who ushered in the space age. His multi-stage rocket and liquid-fueled rocket were important milestones towards spaceflight and Goddard's 1919 monograph, A Method of Reaching Extreme Altitudes, is considered one of the classic texts of 20th century rocket science. The history books and the textbooks credit Dr. Robert H. Goddard as the pioneer of rocketry, and this is clearly not a flat fact, yet it is still repeated and cited in print. So not only do we have proof of rocketry existing hundreds of years before the birth of Robert Goddard in the late 1800s, as time has gone forward our information on other countries have grown and we have knowledge that the Chinese, the Mongols, India and the Middle East all had rocketry and in Europe Roger Bacon mentions gunpowder in his Opus Magus of 1267. But most of the rarest documents existing today are still copies of copies of copies over the centuries. So we will probably never know who was the person who came up with the idea, who actually invented rocketry. But it is not Robert Goddard. This is a fraud. A fraud not surprisingly associated with NASA. And for further research, if you choose, what are the 214 inventions that Robert Goddard patented? Did he invent anything or did he just plagiarize all of it from the past? The fact that there is evidence of rocketry hundreds and hundreds of years ago is very interesting and I find it curious that this is not common knowledge. There are two books of note. The first is Artis Magnae Artillerie Pars Prima, or translated into English, The Art of a Great Artillerize by Casimir 
Semenovic. The entire book is in Latin, but it's 2019, and Google translates Latin. I'm translating one section as I was just blown away by it, and it is supporting evidence for another topic, and that will be in the next video. Yes, there is much more than just rocketry in this book. I'll show you some of the images now. We can also clearly see by the text of the book that the 16th century is not brought to you by the letters J, U or Z. I will leave a link to the book in the description and at the end of the video. The second book of note, or rather manuscript, which is older, is the Sibian manuscript the manuscript consists of three distinct parts by three authors which were bound in a single volume at the Sibiu Library after 1570, so they say. Looking at the ancient drawings of the rockets, we can see the comparison of the rockets at the beginning of NASA. So interestingly, there is a NASA conference publication which discusses the Sibian manuscript, the first symposia of the International Academy of astronautics was in 1967, before the alleged trip up there to the moon in 1969. These two volumes comprise the proceedings of the third through the sixth symposia of the International Academy of Astronautics. It includes Mar del Plata 1969, Constance 1970, Brussels 1971, and Vienna 1972. This document is on archive.org and I will leave a link for this as well. The volumes include a series of essays which clearly show that NASA knew about the ancient rocketry. Let's look at some of the titles included in this document by NASA. 1. Romanian rocketry in the 16th century. 2. The Swedish Rocket Corps 1833 to 1845. 3. Austrian rocketry in the 19th century. 4. Hungarian rocketry in the 19th century. 5. Non-military applications of the rocket between the 17th and 20th century. I should just read a little from the first essay, Romanian rocketry in the 16th century. A medieval manuscript recently discovered in Sibiu, a town in central Romania, was found to contain important new information on the development and construction of powder rockets, handwritten in Old German. Old German? Well, as we know, NASA was started with ex-Nazi scientists who were rounded up after the war and taken to America. These men were prisoners of war who could speak German and may very well have understood Old German. The Sibiu manuscript is in the form of a colligatum with text by three authors. The last of these authors, Conrad Haas, served as the chief of the artillery arsenal in Subu from 1529 to 1569, and his portion of the manuscript devoted to rocketry is the subject of this paper. This manuscript describes the activity carried out in the construction of rockets in Subu by the author together with the local pyrotechnists. I'll go down a bit further. The successful experiments performed with such rockets led Haas to the construction of a three-stage rocket. This is in the 1500s. It's astounding. 
So in conclusion, Robert Goddard, a man born in the late 1800s, is not the pioneer of rocketry, and NASA knew this in 1967. That's it for this one. Next time, guys.